all persons have the right to take part in cultural activities, have the right to express themselves, yet artists are threatened, imprisoned, attacked, sometimes even killed around the world. And that is because they dare to be different. In response to growing violations of artistic freedom, UNESCO is committed to protecting artists. One concrete action is its global report, reshaping policies for creativity, addressing culture as a global public good. The global report is a call to action for governments, public and private organizations, and international community to protect and promote artistic freedom. It aims to give artists the recognition they deserve and to promote safe spaces where they can create and share their work. UNESCO, through its programs, support decision makers and civil society in the implementation of public policies that strengthen the creative sector. Also, many countries have incorporated the right to freedom of expression in their constitutions. Attacks on artistic freedom are on the rise. Reshaping policies for creativity shows that fewer than 50 countries have independent bodies that monitor the state of artistic freedom. This means that, for most artists, there is nowhere to turn to for protection, highlighting a disconnect between law and practice. Problems that artists come into are often unpredictable. They will be persecuted in different ways that are not necessarily obvious. Starting with censorship, there will be harassment. When it comes to artists uh, at risk, persecuted artists, it becomes absolutely a matter of life and death to get away from the situation they are in at times. And access to visas or safe passage becomes so important. Ensuring the right to freedom of expression remains a challenge. Women artists are especially vulnerable to censorship and persecution. It's only by raising awareness that we can change this. Because in many societies, women are expected to conform to certain norms. And when women challenge those norms by expressing themselves artistically, that can lead to trouble. Many women artists have been killed, attacked, forbidden, banned from performing. Persecution and censorship online have a paralyzing effect on artists. They lose access to the platforms that help them generate income and audiences lose the opportunity to engage with their art. Also see a lot more directly targeting, especially uh, online, where people are uh, harassed, that's often where it starts, and then threatened. So the digital sphere is really a, a place of, of danger to many artists uh, these days. Similarly, when global crises like conflicts and disasters impact people's daily lives, artists play a huge role in reflecting what communities are experiencing, but they can face intense repercussions. In emergency situations, the cultural and creative sectors become symbols of resilience and hope. Artistic expression is often an act of courage. We must all commit to defending the fundamental human right to freedom of expression in order to guarantee artistic freedom. UNESCO's global report, Reshaping Policies for Creativity, provides governments, private organizations, and civil society with the insights needed to collectively improve legislation, protect artists, and safeguard artistic freedom. When culture is valued as a global public good, and when artists' freedom of expression is honored and protected, a fairer and more sustainable world is within our reach. Art is not optional. It is not an additional luxury. Art is essential for human dignity, for human autonomy, for achieving our full potential.